In this video, we'll talk about getting up in the plane for gear checks. In some planes, you might not get up for gear checks, but in almost every plane, some movement is necessary. And eventually, you will need to get up to make your way to the door. Expect to do gear checks around two to 3,000 feet before jump run. This might vary across drop zones. Whenever you move around in the plane, and particularly when you get up, be aware of your gear, and especially all three of your handles, to avoid rubbing them against other people or parts of the plane. Feel free to ask someone you feel comfortable with to give you a pin check. Expect them to check that your main pin is fully seated and the kill line is the correct color indicating that the pilot chute is cocked, and that your main handle is correctly seated with no excess bridle or pilot chute exposed. You might ask the person checking your gear to check your reserve pin as well. You should also be responsible for checking yourself that your two leg straps and chest strap are routed properly, that your three handles are seated correctly, and that the three rings are routed properly. You should also check that your RSL is hooked up correctly. After the gear check, be aware of your equipment and make sure to minimize any rubbing against other objects or people. Your main handle is often easiest to forget because it's behind you. You might choose to wait until you're closer to jump run before putting on your helmet with visor or goggles and fastening them. Either way, keep that on your mental checklist and try to do it the same way every time. Following these simple guidelines will help you get the most out of your skydives. Thank you for watching the Rhythm Skydiving Instructional Series. For more videos like this, please visit www.rhythmskydiving.com slash videos. Have a great jump.